The ABC camp in Ekiti State is still unsettled following Friday's shooting at its secretariat in Adoekiti, where a former member of the House of Representatives, Okweyemi Bamidele, and another member of the party were shot by a police officer. The police had claimed it was an accidental discharge, and the officer who fired the shot arrested alongside a politician who allegedly took him away from his duty post in Lagos. But the leadership of the party will not take that as an excuse. They are suspecting foul play and making strong statements, forcing them to postpone the campaign of the governorship candidate, Kayode Fayemi. The, the protagonist was not part of our setup yesterday. We don't know him until he started his uh, uh, antics. Um, when you see policemen in uniform, you could only identify them with their names and their, and their number. So anybody in uniform you believe is a policeman. And for that touch to have happened and uh, exhibited by a police officer calls for serious investigation. The ruling party in Ekiti State is also not comfortable with the insinuations that the state government may have a hand in the matter. The special assistant to the state government and public communications, Larry Olainka, speaks on behalf of the state government. We don't have hands in, uh, in violence. And thank God that the police has come out to also clarify that the police officer that, that was involved in the shooting actually came was brought from Lagos, from Upo 20 in particular, and that he, they they have they've been trying to, to hide the identity of the person who brought him. And he was among the the many, the many, so many armed policemen that they that they that they that, were, that they brought to it yesterday. The leaders of the APC say the victims are already recuperating, but they are not willing to let go of the matter and want concerned authorities to launch an investigation to avoid a repeat of such attacks, especially as July 14 election knocks on their doors.